Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to show you how to assemble the Yida Home Gaming Chair. I picked this up off of Amazon recently and today I'm going to show you guys how to assemble it for yourselves. Okay, so as with anything, I like to go ahead and lay everything out just to make sure that I have all the parts. Um, before I begin assembling anything. So we've got the bottom part that all the wheels will attach to. We've got our two armrests. And keep in mind, all this stuff was packaged individually. They actually did a fantastic job of wrapping everything and packaging it very well. We've got our backrest, obviously a part where that we actually sit on. We've got the lower section, um, which actually I believe has like a vibrating or a massaging function. We've got the top part that supports our head. Obviously this will be the part that, um, you know, changes the chair from going up and down. We've got our supplied hardware and there's an, an Allen key in here which I believe is all you need to assemble this. Actually I'm seeing some Phillips head screws. Oh! The bottom of the Allen key is actually a Phillips head screwdriver. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So I guess this Allen key is all you're going to need to assemble this. And then obviously, last but not least, You've got your instruction manual and a couple pieces of plastic trimming. So now that we've got everything laid out and everything that we need is going to be here, let's go ahead and start assembling it. So for this chair, I'm going to start off by um, assembling the base first. So the base is this kind of like starfish looking thing. And on the bottom, you've got these holes at the end of all the points. You don't need to screw in anything. All you need to do is take one of the provided wheels stick it in place and give it a little bit of pressure and it'll pop right into place. And now you can repeat that for all of the points on the base. Okay, so with our base completely assembled, as you can see, we've got all the wheels already stuck in here. Now it's time to put the small compression part that actually lifts the chair up and down. So this is the small part that I'm speaking about right here. This part is gonna go facing up and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the three small plastic cup looking things that all fit inside of each other. As you can see, there's three of them are like this. That slides right over the top. The small part will be sticking out of the top right here and that goes perfectly inside this hole that you see inside the base. It will just slide right into place as you can see right here. Okay, so now it's time to assemble the portion that our, you know, butt is actually going to be sitting down on. So what we need to do is we need to flip it upside down. And as you can see, we've got these guys screwed in right here. So we're going to be taking these guys out and using the same hardware to attach this bottom part to right here, as well as the armrests on each side. Okay, so we've gotten all the factory hardware removed from the bottom of here, and just in case there's any confusion as to, you know, which direction that this should go, it does, it is labeled, let's see if you guys can read that, but it is labeled front on here, so you know which side it needs to be facing, and that'll be pretty easy to line up as obviously with, you know, these little bars back here, this will be the back, so this will obviously be the front of the seat, so facing up and down like that, this little, you know, handle on the right, on I guess for you guys that would be your left. So this is this is the direction that it'll be facing. And here is a great shot of all the bottom and the armrest here, you know, reinstalled using all the included hardware. All of this was done using the little Allen key that they sent. So now that that part is assembled, we can take this hole right here and line it up with right here and it'll go right, right down perfectly on top of it. Let me show you guys what that looks like real quick. And as you can see, it fits right on top of it. Spins around freely, perfect. Now that the bottom portion is ready, we can take our backrest right here, remove the factory screws on either side right there, and then we can line those up with what's on the bottom right here. And so those screws going into here is what's going to attach the backrest to where we sit. And there's a shot 
of the backrest installed and we just put the two factory screws back in on either side and use that to attach the backrest to the rest of the chair. Okay, so to put the finishing touches on everything, we gotta cover up all this hardware that you can see. And they include, you know, various plastic pieces that will cover up all the hardware that they don't want you to see. And to attach these guys right here, you can see they've got three holes right here. And there will be three black screws on this side that you'll back out and then again use to reattach the plastic part covering it and you can use the other side of your allen key which is a screw head uh, a phillips head screwdriver just back them out and put them back in as you can see this is what the plastic piece looks like now on this side there's one more black screw right here that you can use to attach this other trim piece that will cover it up and it will be the same process for the other side okay and as you can see we've got this portion covered up spin the chair around and we have this portion covered up now as well. So now the chair is completely installed minus the two backrest portions. I want to show you guys, like I said earlier, you know, you can recline the seat back if you want or you can bring it up if you want to do a little, you know, lean forward serious gaming. I'm a pretty big individual. I'm 6'2", about 230 pounds, and this chair feels like a throne to me. So if you're a bigger guy or a bigger person, and you're wondering like ah like you know I might not fit into one of these gaming chairs believe me guys this chair feels amazing I'm going to take the headrest portion and put it on now it just has a, a you know adjustable um, little strap on the back that you can unclip and clip back in so I'm going to put that guy right here Okay, so the headrest is in, and now we can put in the bottom portion, which has this USB right here, and I believe that this is for, you know, potentially hooking up to your PC or, you know, an existing outlet maybe that has an adapter or something like that, and then it has this on-off switch, to give you a better view, it has this on-off switch that comes equipped with it, and I believe that's what turns on and off the, um, the massaging portion of this chair. Okay, so for the sake of the video right now, I'm going to show you guys that the vibrating portion does in fact work. So, the USB in, I actually have some USB outlets on my little kitchen island right here. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And it's only the bottom section that vibrates, just, just so that's clear. So you can just lean up against it. Uh, this neck pillow is in the perfect place, too, for if you're just like leaning back and vegging out. Ah, and the lower back vibration feels great. Okay, guys, so there it is. From start to finish, that is how to assemble the Yida Home gaming chair. This chair is really, really comfortable, and it feels very, very sturdy, very, very high quality, too. It's crazy how much some of these gaming chairs can go for nowadays, like the DX Racer and, you know, other brands like that. And this chair is super inexpensive, especially in comparison to some of the other gaming chairs on the market. So thank you very much to Yida Home for sending this out to me so I can make this installation video for you guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, just go ahead and leave it in the uh, question section of this product. And I'll do my best to answer them or the people from Yida Home will do their best to answer them as well. Thanks for watching everybody.